Hello everyone, my name is Dara Vendra. It's a beautiful morning today and I hope you have a great day. But if you don't, don't be sad because I'm going to give a talk about one of the most usual solution to almost every problem and possibly everyone's problem in this world. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Zara Atanalendra. You can call me Zara. And are you curious what I'm going to talk about? Well, the clue is this is one of the most useful and powerful solution to almost every problems and everyone problems in around the world. So, let's start. I'm going to talk about productivity and the importance of productivity in the modern era. But first, let's start with what is the definition of productivity? So, productivity can be defined as the measure of how effectively and efficiently we use our time, our energy, and our resources in creating something useful or producing something useful or simply targeting desired outcomes. And why productivity matters? Because if you are productive, you are able to be a good person by making all your resource useful and beneficial for your life. And it's very important in the modern era because everything almost digital, like you can access everything through your phone, your laptop, or even a watch. And productivity is really important because once you're not pr productive, you will lose your strength in producing something or doing something. In which way? We must be productive because it's the way we live. But productivity is just, it's not just being busy. It's about working hard. It's not just being busy. It's more complicated than that but it's easy and productive is one of the most valuable thing a human can have it's one of the most valuable personality or the material of our life that we can have because with being productive as I said before it can manage our time manage our resources it can be useful for almost our entire life and you got potential so what are you going to do with your potential then you're going to make it useful by what by being productive and being productive it's quite easy you just have to smartly manage your time manage your mind and everything and once you do that you will get into the productivity flow and you will flow through the way well after that being productive is hard to keep it stay in our body and in our mind because it will start to feel like it's so difficult but believe me if you don't do through that process you will feel that productivity is so beneficial for our life and productivity is not only important in the modern era but our entire life and we're going to split it into two sections the first section is our professional life and the second section is our personal life well, let's start with the professional life. What is a professional life? It is our set of life of working, studying, etc. And professional life is really important for us to achieve our dream. Maybe our dream job or our dream things to have. Well, it is quite hard, but with the most beneficial thing and personality, productive, it will be a lot easier to achieve and in professional life we can do a lot of things with productivity well you can be an artist and also a ceo by what by being productive you can manage your time between doing your personal life things and professional life things and let's move on to the professional life so what is i mean personal life what is personal life Personal life is our usual life we do in daily time or daily days. So it's like our maybe me time or chill time. It's, it's just personal. It's between ourselves. And I think that it is most, mostly our hobbies. And I'm sure that 
all of you have their own hobbies, your own hobbies in your own way. Well, maybe you can hardly do your hobbies and manage it splitly with the professional things. But by being productive, you can almost easily manage your time and easily manage between your hobbies and your professional things. Well, maybe I myself, I have a hobby. My hobby is drawing, but how can I manage it with studying? It is concluded in the productivity value of personality. Well, we can manage our time maybe from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. we study and an hour later we draw. Well, for myself, it is easy for me to manage my time because I only do drawing when I'm in the mood. And maybe you can do your own hobbies when you're in the mood because you cannot force yourself to do something you don't like. But by being productive, you can do all the things together at once. And it is really, really beneficial because time is precious. And how do we make our time useful? It is about managing. And it is, it is just simply yourself who manage your own time. Don't let anyone manage your own time because doing something comfortable is more important than doing something good. Because once you are comfortable with something you do, you will get the meaning of the thing you do. Well, for me, I think studying and drawing is like two different things. Drawing to make my mind relax and studying just give the weight to my mind. But by balancing both, I can do both and both with happy feeling. So. Simply, all of that is because productive. And by any means, productive is not just being busy, as I said. It's quite complicated, but it's easy. How? Well, I have so many ways that I can say, but I will only say a few things. Well, maybe first, just don't postpone your work. Don't delay your works. Postponed working will be only a burden that will slow down your entire progress and no no it's bad because if you delay your works it will only be a burden that will be stuck between your flow in productivity personality well what you do is do something directly if you know how to do it do something directly but if you don't know what to do then you will ask other people how to do it but the main important thing is don't postpone or delay your work because it is bad. And as I said, it will only be a burden that slow down our entire progress. And after that, you will manage your time between doing healthy things and doing professional and personal life. Healthy things mean doing sports or exercising your entire body because your body also matter on what you do. Well, our body is very important to be managed because we have strength in our personality but we just don't know how to show it then we do sports exercise we get our body fit and by a fit body there will be a healthy mind and also if you have your own mind you have your own potential how to maximize it by doing productivity and exercise, managing your time, don't delay your works, etc. Because there are so many things you can do with your life and you have a lot of potential that you don't know how to show. So in this life, we'll, we'll just figure it out how to show our potential, how to maximize it. Well, it is maybe hard, but believe in yourself. Also, after that, just be yourself. Do what you like because as long as it's not a bad thing, you can do what you like. But don't forget to balance it with other things because something over overdo is not good. Anything overdo is not good. So I think just be yourself. If you want to copy someone, just don't copy them. Make them your inspiration 
and do it your own way. Execute your idea with your own way because something different from anyone else is more valuable because if you have an idea and then you execute it with yourself, it will become the most valuable idea with your life. And I think that being productive is not just like overdo your works and overdo anything you do because being productive doesn't mean that you have to be busy because being productive will will make your life quite harder if you do it the wrong way so as I said just be yourself and do it your own way execute productivity and any other idea with your own way well it is quite hard but just believe in yourself as I said before and as we can conclude in our session of productivity productivity is important both in our professional and personal life which is it is one of the most valuable reason and valuable thing that can solve your problems in your life and as I said every problem has its own solution but I think productivity is one of them so I think that is enough from me thank you for hearing my talk and for the attention and have a great day